The watches that are shown in this video and or any watch that I review on this channel are not counterfeit. I do not and will not ever knowingly review any counterfeit watches on my channel. YouTube policy defines counterfeit items as follows. Counterfeit goods contain a trademark or logo that is identical to or substantially indistinguishable from the trademark of another. And YouTube also defines further that they mimic the brand features of the product in an attempt to pass themselves off as a genuine product of the brand owner. None of the items I review on this channel meet either one of these requirements. I do not review items that are identical in any way to any brand or that attempt to pass themselves off as a genuine product of the brand owner. These items are all purchased legally and are publicly available to anyone to purchase themselves. To the best of my knowledge, all of the watches that I review are made by companies that have done their research to make sure that the items they sell are legal. I do not produce these items, I only review them. Once again, the watches you see in this video and any watch you see on this channel reviewed by me is not and are not counterfeit items as defined by YouTube policy. Hey guys, Dave the Watchman here coming at you with another watch review video. Today I have, with my buddy Schrody, I have a, a box that I just received. It's an unboxing video. I have a box that I've just received from Amazon. And I've got a couple of watches in here. I'm not really sure what's in the box, but I'm going to open that up and show you guys what came in. Uh, before I get started, I just wanted to shout out to my current subscribers and say thank you guys so much for all the thumbs up, liking, and commenting. You guys are helping me grow this channel, and I really do appreciate that very much. Uh, could not appreciate it more. Thank you guys so much. Um, and if you are new to the channel, my name is David the Watchman, and I review budget-friendly watches for the everyman because I don't believe that you should have to spend a fortune to look like you have a fortune. So if you do like this content, please make sure you give that thumbs up, like, and subscribe, especially if you want to see more watches and watch review videos because that's what I do. So anyhow, without further ado, let's get into this unboxing and show you guys what came in the mail today. Uh, here we go. Let's open this up. I do know I ordered a couple of Seikos. I'm not really sure if that's what's in this box. Um, but I did order a couple of Seikos and a couple of other interesting watches. We do have an Addy's Dive. That's always a nice one. Um, ooh. Take a look at that, guys. We've got a Seiko. And, ah, oh, Pagani Design. Love these watches, guys. If you've watched my other videos, you know that Pagani Design has some great watches as well as Addy's Dive. And everybody knows Seiko is a great brand. So, which one do you want to see first? The Pagani Design, the Addy's Dive, or the Seiko? He's got three really good watches here. So... Let's go with the Addy's Dive, since, I don't know, since I just feel like it. All right, let's open this guy up and see what we have. Okay, okay. packaged up in the classic... Addy's Dive case, very, very well packaged watch. Let's get this thing open. And, okay. Well, I'm going to say, on first impressions, I haven't even opened this thing yet, but I'm a little bit disappointed in it. It doesn't look nearly as nice as it did in the photographs. But let's give it a shot and open it up and take a look at it. It looked a whole lot more interesting online than it does in person. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Guys, I don't know what you guys think about this one. But I think the face looks very, very cartoonish. I don't really like it. It looks like a, almost like a comic book. I don't really like it at all. Um, I'd have to say this is not something that I would wear at all, um, to be honest with you. Um, it's all wrapped up. Oh, it is a solid quality watch. I mean, these guys are known for really good watches. This is an automatic with a sapphire crystal, but I'm just, I would not wear this at all. I mean, that's just not my style. I mean, if you like it, I will post a link to it in the description below, so that way you guys can head on over and pick one of these up but to me I think it looks very Halloween <laughs> Halloween looking and just not something that I would want to wear um it did look a lot more interesting online though I will give it that but and good quality nice solid band on this thing it's got the security clasp um it's a uh, pressed steel 
um, but it does have the sapphire crystal and it is an automatic um, it is a great quality watch just not something that I would want to wear so for me for me I'm gonna say that's a no-go and I'm gonna move on to the next of the two which one guys which one do you want doesn't matter you can't tell me anyway so we're gonna go with Seiko all right Seiko Seiko I don't even remember which one I ordered here. Oh, yeah, this is a nice one. Kind of looks similar to the one that I'm wearing. This is a great watch. <laughs> Guys, I will post a link to this one in the description below if you like this one. But honestly, this is a fa my favorite watch in my entire collection here. And I've got a lot of watches. This one's my definitely my favorite, hands down. If I had to pick one watch and get rid of every other watch I owned, this would be the one I would keep. And this is a Seiko, which is a similar, similar style to the one that I'm wearing. But honestly, I think I like the Steel Dive even better than the Seiko. So, this is an automatic. Oh, it does have the exhibition case, though. Guys, that is nice. That's a nice touch. Even my, even this Steel Dive doesn't have the exhibition case, but this one does. That's a great great looking watch guys so even Schrody likes it you like the exhibition case buddy you like that yeah yeah I know you do um it's a sharp looking watch it's got that sweeping second hand it's an automatic with the exhibition case Def it's got the sapphire crystal uh really nice rotating bezel on this thing now like i said this is just an unboxing video guys so i will be giving each one of these watches a little bit more attention when i go over them individually in their own review um where we'll go over what you know what model number it is and basically all of the um the features of each individual watch but right now i'm just unboxing it to show you guys what i actually received in this shipment and i'm always getting new watches in every day got watches coming in all the time and so there's always something new on my channel so if you do like this content you can head on over to davethewatchman.com um, you can click on any of these links below um, if you'd like to purchase any of these watches I do they are affiliate links so they do send a couple of dollars over to the channel if you do decide to purchase them so I really would appreciate that if you decide to buy one clicking on one of those affiliate links below and uh does send a couple of dollars over to me and the price is still the same for you guys no matter which way you decide to purchase it uh just if you click on the link it does send a dollar or two over to me um so next up is going to be the pagani design i really love pagani design great quality watch um i do have do i have a pagani design over here no, I don't. I don't have a Pagani design in this selection of watches here, but I do have a few in my collection, and they are great, great quality watches. So let's get this one opened up here and see which one came in. I'm not, like I said, I don't really remember what I'm ordering. I have so many watches, and there are always new watches coming in all the time. And uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can even get this open. That would be helpful if I could just even get the package open. I'm going to take a sneak peek at it. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is an homage watch, guys. And um, it's an homage watch. And if you know about this watch, you're going to know which watch it is an homage to. Um, but it is an homage watch of a, of a luxury brand. Um, and a style that came out, and I believe that style, they came out with this watch back in the 50s, I want to say, 50s or 60s, basically the Atomic Age. Um, and it is a very, very close, it's very close in similarity, right down to the green ring around the dial. If you guys know which watch this is an homage to, um, you guys can post that in the description, in the comment section below, but I'm just going to say... Um, it's very unique. It's a very unique watch style right down to that lightning bolt, um, lightning bolt second hand and that, uh, that green ring around the crystal. This is a sapphire crystal. This is also an automatic, um, and it is, 
a good solid quality watch really tight bracelet on this thing um it is let's see what the clasp is on this thing if it's pressed or oh that's a really nice that's a really nice flush safety on that i mean it's it's really nice guys that's good see that it's very it's, it's completely flush with the signature on the clasp all right so it is a milled clasp wow that is this is made with some really good quality guys that's really nice. Wow, I'm impressed by this. But yeah, that is a striking resemblance to the... It, it's it's really similar. It's really, really similar. And um, if you're looking for that look, then this is the watch you're probably going to want to get. Because this is really, really nice. And I, I can't remember right offhand, but I think this was somewhere in the $100 range. Um, like I said, when I do the, um, when I do the individual videos, I'll let you know the actual prices on these things, but I will post a link to this in the description below. So if you want to head on over and check it out, it is a really good price for that house homage watch. Um, and you can, um, you can pick one up for a really nice price and still get the, you still get the same look that you would get with that. So, so anyhow, those are the three watches that I got in my, um, in my haul today from Amazon. All these watches are available on Amazon.com. You do always, when you purchase from Amazon.com, you get to take advantage of their awesome prime return policy, which is great. And out of these three watches, I think the one I'm the most impressed with is this Rolex uh, homage watch. Uh, and not really happy about this Addy's, Addy's dive design. I really think it looks very comic book looking and kind of something Halloween looking. I don't know. It's just it's just not my thing. But if you like it, you like it. I mean, that's the thing with watches. I mean, somebody might hate a watch. Somebody else might love it. Um, I've had a lot of people like watches that I don't like. I've liked a lot of watches that a lot of other people don't like. It's just that's just the way it is. Um, so if you like it. I will post a link to it in the description below so you guys can head on over and check that out. Pick one up if you want. And I will also post a link to this Seiko and definitely to this um, homage watch. So. so, like I said, I am Dave the Watchman. I review budget-friendly watches for the everyman because I don't believe that you should have to spend a fortune to look like you have a fortune. And if you're new to the channel and you like this content and you want to see more, please make sure you give that thumbs up, like, and subscribe, especially if you want to see more watches and watch review videos, because that's what I do. Um, you can also head on over to DaveTheWatchMan.com and you see all these watches that I've reviewed with links, with affiliate links to purchase these watches and some watches of interest. Till next time, I am Dave the Watchman and I will see you in the next watch review video. Have a great day.